Senior citizens and persons living with disabilities began receiving the one-off cash grant from the government of Guyana. Details in this report. The distribution exercise of the one-off cash grant to pensioners and persons living with disabilities continues in Burbese and other parts of the country. Today, residents of villages in West Kanji and its neighboring communities uplifted the one-off $25,000 cash grant at the Vryhead Masjid. A few of the beneficiaries spoke with this reporter and shared differing views on the process of uplifting the incentive. The system is slow. Okay, what They're supposed to be a little quicker. Yeah, uh, they're supposed to get more people oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. delivering the stuff. What time did you come this morning? I come here about 7.30. Okay, and which area are you from? I'm from um, Fort Scheme. That's it? Downtown. Okay, okay. And what do you think about the initiative? Of well, everybody wants more money. Right? So that's my opinion about everything. This time you first insult, you come and you get a number and you go according to your number with no problem. Okay, so what do you think about the initiative of the one-off cash grant again this year? Well, what you must say? Thank God for small mercies. Are you satisfied with the amount? Because no, you're not satisfied, but that is what I'm saying. Thank God for small mercies. And where are you from? I'm from Angai, it's up in here. Very, very smooth. I'm very pleased about it. Yeah. It was very fast. Coming and very comfortable, no discussion or anything, no. People would be fighting normally and things. Everything went smooth so far. And what do you think about the general initiative of the cash grant this year? Um, generally, I think that when we reach so far, people agree. Finish the military work, I think they should put something very much. We are waiting on the budget to hear what they will do. I think the budget, you got to cater for the ex-military ex personnel and senior people. But what I noticed there, they have some senior people to collect books. And it's not right the people have to stand in there and get seat accommodation for them. And this is the only problem. Otherwise, we have the system is smooth, We're waiting for after the budget pass to see what the president is going to do with us. The president of the Burbies Pensioners Association, Mr. Burchell Archer, during an invited comment, concurred the sentiments of the previous interviewees. People were looking out for the party $50,000 um, because the things have gone up so highly high in the, in the stores. Um, I listened to the president talking about he has knowledge of these situations, but then all you can make reference to is the right farmers and that they got to give them fertilizer and, and, and money to help them out um, with, their, with their production. So I think that I would agree that the $25,000 one-off payment is inadequate. I also believe that, as people are saying, it should be around forty to $50,000. Furthermore, he mentioned that the amount of people who got to go to one center now in Kanji, for instance, you have the welfare center, which was selected for a one-half payment. And when you look at the whole of Kanji for the 15th and the 14th and the 15th, uh, members are crying out. Not only members, as I've been saying before, pensioners are crying out that it takes too much of time for them to go and get this thing done. The exercise will continue at different locations across the country. The Pension and Public Assistance 2024 booklets are also being distributed simultaneously. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.